Assalamu alaikum this is Amir Khan Rizai uh, and we will be discussing under lecture 6 stream 3 the economies of scale and in which we will be further discussing the cost of production and cost of firms and different concept uh, concept clarity will be taken under this lecture in this slide we will be looking to the classification of length of the time in production process so short run and long run so in short run refers to a period of time in which the quantity of machines and equipment cannot change because of the time allotment yet long enough to make a changes in this variable long run mein kya it refers to a period of time which is long enough for all the inputs to be changed and varied so this is a case in which all inputs are variable and cost of production is likewise variable so ye short run aur long run ki definition hai टोटल फिक्स कॉस्ट क्या होती है टी एफ सी आर दो डू नॉट चेंज एज आउटपुट इनक्रीज हमने पिछले लेक्चर में भी इसकी एग्जाम्पल डिस्कस की थी इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज ओवर हेड और अनएवॉडेबल कॉस्ट जो एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव कॉस्ट है जो फिक्स कॉस्ट है जो बिल्डिंग की कॉस्ट द एक्सपेंसिज और पेमेंट फॉर फिक्स इनपुट और फिक्स कॉस्ट सो टोटल वेरिएबल कॉस्ट क्या है कॉस्ट विच बिजनेस इज कैन कंट्रोल इन द शॉर्ट रन बाई चेंजिंग लेवल ऑफ प्रोडक्शन there are cost that varies directly are as output charges total cost here the sum of the total fixed cost and total variable cost at each level of output so dono combine ho jati is the sum total of cost of the production which includes payment like wages or salaries for labor rent for land building wagaira wagaira in uh, interest for uh, capital and normal profit for entrepreneurship hence the other costs are average fixed cost and slide we will be looking at uh, the factor of production different factors involved like land labor capital organization so we will look at it one by one that what uh, what land means the natural resources such as surface mineral air river sea so you now free gift of these are free gift of nature and these are fixed so what is labor mental or physical effort done by a man with the uh, view of getting output capital man made goods used in the production process and most mobile factor organization its entrepreneur or coordination coordinator of all other uh, factors of production input fixed inputs or variable inputs ki baat hoti hai the factor of production that is carrying out the production is called input लैंड लेबर कैपिटल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और टेक्नोलॉजी ये जहन में रखें कि जब भी फैक्टर ऑफ प्रोडक्शन की बात होगी तो लैंड लेबर कैपिटल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ये मेन चार पिलर्स हैं कि जो डिस्कस होंगे सो दीज आर दी एग्जांपल्स ऑफ इनपुट वन नीड्स टू बी टेकिंग केयर ऑफ in this slide we will be discussing in now we will be discussing the different stages so there are three different stages uh, the law of variable proportion the first stage is increasing return and total product increases at increase rate till the end of the stage ap also increases and reaches at yes yes point mp also increases and it becomes equal to ap at the end of the stage where marginal product is greater than average product so second stage is tp increases but at diminishing rate and it reaches at highest at the end of the stage ap and mp are decreasing but both are positive so mp becomes zero and total product is at maximum at the end of the stage so marginal product is less than ap where a third stage which is a negative return so tp decreases and tp curve slope downwards which is being shown in the uh, graphically in the in the picture right bottom so as uh, tp is decreasing mp is negative ap is decreasing when but positive so in teen stages ko graphically yahan pe explain kiya gaya hai ki stage 1 jo hai wo kis jagah pe aa rahi hai n pe stage 2 h or m pe aur stage 3 so ye teen stages hain ki jo define ho rahi hain aap isme curves ko dekhenge to total प्रोडक्ट जो है वो एच के ऊपर हाईएस्ट पे जा रही है फिर एवरेज प्रोडक्ट आपके पास एस पे हाईएस्ट पे है और मार्जिनल प्रोडक्ट जो है वो एम को क्रॉस करते हुए नेगेटिव की तरफ नीचे एक्स एक्सिस को क्रॉस कर रही है सो वन वन नीड टू कीप दिस डिमॉन्स्ट्रेशन इन माई वाइल डिस्कसिंग द टोटल प्रोडक्ट एवरेज प्रोडक्ट एंड मार्जिनल प्रोडक्ट एंड अंडर दी अम्ब्रेल ऑफ दीज थ्री स्टेजेस डेफिनेशन 
with this we may come to an end to this particular lecture and uh, i will be coming in the next lecture with a discussion on economies of scale constant return of scale uh, increasing return of scale so uh, keep stick to these lectures and we will be discussing it in detail in making our concept clear on uh, these things so uh, milte hain next lecture mein assalam alaikum